Hi, I'm Alan Yeomans, and uh, I'm going to tell you about our new Merlin Point. We developed it over a few years, and the problem with subsoiling, as you all know, especially if you're in abrasive country, is point wear. And you're always, with subsoiling, you're virtually ploughing, cultivating in country that's never been cultivated before. So that's the idea of the Merlin Point. We think, think it's kind of magic, so that's why we've used the name Merlin. And this is the little baby himself, herself, whatever. What the ground is looking at is a face across there. Imagine you're going through the ground, a face across there. And that's a tungsten carbide insert that's embedded in the front of the point. There are two tungsten carbide pieces that sit there and there. Now, you know tungsten carbide wears extremely well, so they will last a long time. Now, behind those, we have these two little points there, that red thing and that silver thing. That we call a rabbit. It's a Merlin point, so there's a rabbit and a hat, and there's even a little wand in there. So that's the rabbit and that's the hat. And these two parts are easily replaceable. And I'll show you how they do that. All right, first of all, I'll show you how this thing comes apart. The rabbit goes back into its hole like that, drops out like that, and when it does, the little pin, a wand we call that, that also comes out. Now the top hat slips forward, unhooks like that, slides down through the hole, you get a slight half twist and the whole thing comes apart. Now all these parts are cheap and replaceable. The rest of the point, apart from just the side wings and the little bit of the top, that's the only non-replaceable or not tungsten carbide parts that are actually looking at the dirt. All right, so now we'll put it back together. First, when you assemble the thing, you put in the, the top hat. It's got a little tapers on the side, so you put it in diagonally like so. Get it through the hole, give it a little half twist like so, then it lays back, and you can see those little catches there. They drop down into that hole, and the whole thing fits back into place. Then you insert the rabbit, tail first, into his hole, poke him through there like that, and it drops down there like so, and you get the little pin, or wand we call it, that recesses into there. So you drop that down in that hole, put it forward, and the whole thing slips forward. Now in use, this rabbit can't go back. And the reason it can't go back is that the shank itself actually prevents that movement backwards. I'll show you that now. Now this part is the bottom of a shank. It's a replaceable part. You can weld this onto anybody's shank. And that sits up there like that, and I'll show you how it fits on. Now we have the Merlin point with its bits and pieces. It just simply fits on the front like that. And when it's in place, that's as far as it goes, when it's in place, the rabbit can no longer move backwards. So the rabbit can't move back, the pin can't come out, and the top hat can't go forward because the point is now on the shank. It's held in place by either of two different means. Okay, well, there's two ways we put hold this thing from coming off. One is you just get a piece of quarter round or six mil rod, you poke that through that hole there like that and you just bend it back. Bend it back on the other side as well. The other system, which I'll, is with this thing we call a bridge lock. Now that bloke fits on these little slots at the back of the one, uh, back of the Merlin point, and they clip in like that, and they're held in place with either a 5/8 bolt or a half-inch bolt. I'll show you how that fits. Now, the Merlin point is held on with this bolt or the 5/8, and the bolt goes in like that. You simply poke it up into there. It fits in a recess in there, pokes out the back. And then you simply put a nut on the back of that thing like so, spin that up, and she's held into place. 
and there is no way you can pull that thing apart from now on in. A nylock nut would be good there, but any nut will do. Action. Now we can hold it in place with a 5.8 bolt, either a half inch or a 5.8. So with a 5.8 bolt, there's the 5.8 bolt goes in, through there like that, up into there like that, put the nut on the back, spin it down, and there is then no way that this thing can come apart. Okay, that's the 5.8 one. We can use the half inch bolt, it goes in there, or we can use the pin that I showed you before that fits in the bottom. So the three different ways that it can be held on. The beauty of this system is that those two points are replaceable. There's a new top hat. There's one that's done about 150 acres, I think it was. You can see where the wear is on either side, but that has still got plenty of life left in it. And it's totally replaceable. And the point underneath, the paint's still on it. It's just wonderful the way it works. There is a new rabbit and one that is showing wear on either side. Again, about 150 acres. And they're still going strong and there's still a lot of wear left in that. And it's still replaceable when it's completely gone and the point has not got any wear on it at all. It's just, it's just magical. It works like a dream. This is another replaceable part, it's, it's a foot, and it too will fit on the back of any different shank you've got, and the same thing applies with that. The whole assembly fits straight onto that like that. That is welded on the back, on the bottom of a worn out yeoman shank, or for that matter, any other sort of shank. Now there is the Merlin point mounted on one of our standard 22 inch shanks. Of course it mounts on all of our shanks, stump jump model included. But there she is on a 22 inch shank. We took out a patent on this Merlin point because we went to so much trouble to develop it. And I think it's, it's really going to save a lot of wear problems for you. The thing retails for $79.20 and that includes GST, 10% GST. And it includes a little pin that goes through to hold it into place. It doesn't include the bridge lock point, but people that have them, they've already got them. I think you should get in under your agent or get in touch with us direct and get some of these because I think they're going to be a real problem solver for you. Thank you. I'm Alan Yeomans.